Welcome to Camper Trailer Australia's Off-Road Camper of the Year 2012. We're in the beautiful Victorian high country and I have 15 of the best camper trailers in Australia to test out up here. We'll be testing these guys over four price categories. So we've got 15 to 25,000, 25 to 35, 35 and up, and a hybrid category. For the guys without as much canvas, who are still built for this type of country. We're gonna be judging them against five criteria. So we've got off-road ability, bush ability, family friendliness, home comforts, and value. At the end of the day, we're gonna have four winners. But in this country, everybody's a winner. This year, we had five judges looking at all of the camper trailers. Stuart Stupot Jones is a regular contributor and our circulation manager. This is his third year judging. Claire Wilson is deputy editor and brings fresh eyes to the competition. Rob Sanderson is a co-owner of CamperTrailers.org. This is his third year judging as well. Our guest judge this year is Steve Sampson, branch manager at ARB Kilsyth and longtime four-wheel driver and myself, Carl R. Rogers, editor of Camper Trailer Australia. Right, hi guys, I'm Nick from Mountain Trail Campers. This is our 2012 Expedition model. It's completely standard, there's no options on it. It's 34,950. And I'll start with the kitchen. This kitchen is standard in all our models. It's been redesigned for 2012, so it's very easy to use. We run heavy duty slides, flick that switch down, it will slide out and will actually hang there on its own, no problem at all. There's plenty of bench space, because we use Smev stoves and sinks, so you've got bench space there. First thing I noticed looking at the mountain trail was how much better the finish on this camper is from when we looked at it last year. Uh, it's just, everything's been done right. When you open and close the drawers, they have this soft close feature. And I know it's a little thing, but it just oozes quality. It just looks so classy. Can you tell us a bit about the suspension you're running on the trailer? Yeah, on the, on the Expedition model, we, uh, we run a uh, Outback Off-Road Leaf, 8 Leaf, eye to eye, greasable with a 50 mil solid square axle, parallel bearings, and 10 inch electric off-road drum brakes. It's completely sufficient for, to you could take this around Australia and not have a problem with it. I think the mountain trail would go great off-road, tough monocoque chassis, uh, eight leaf springs, uh, nice and tough and hard under there, N nothing protruding underneath, and a bash plate over the water tank, yeah, no problems there. Could you tell us about your 12 volt setup? Yeah, absolutely. This is standard in all our models, so, whether you're ordering the, the $45,000 top of the range model or the, the $28,000 lower model than this. I like how everything's together. Yeah. And the batteries aren't in a separate place to yeah. what the controls are. Yes. Really neat. Yeah. Really neat. Yeah. Jerry cans, there's two of them mounted up the front. This is a rubbish bag. So when we leave here, we can put all our rubbish into there and lock that down. Stone guard's hard mounted. You can replace the mesh if it gets pitted with uh, stone chips. We reinforced it at the front as well because that's where it gets commonly hit. Mm -hmm. the, the trailer is, um, it's, it's all for all the main joins are fully welded. Um, then it's sandblasted, zinc coated, which is oven baked, and then top coated, powder coated. What's the overall weight, Nick? This weighs 1100 kilos standard from the factory. So right now it's 1100. ATM? 1750. And ball weight? 100. 
Bull weight's always going to be variable, depending on how much water you have in the tank. We do a lot of testing with that as well, with bull weights, filling the water tank up, filling the storage up, putting the jerry cans in it. It's always going to move a little bit, so generally it'll be between about 70 kilos and 130. We've also got a removable zip-out floor in all of our campers, so if you get a hole in it or you need to clean it, you can remove it and put it back in. If it's sewn in, you get a hole in it, well, you could have a problem. Um, mattress cover is standard on the Expedition model, an inner spring mattress. We also have bed reading lights, each side of the bed. Here's the internal staircase. And on the side of the camper, you've got three enclosed cupboards. So on this particular model here, you can access your cupboards like that, and they've all, all got carpet lining in them and LED lights. There's a larger one at the back, uh, a medium-sized one here, and the long flat one here. Nick, um, what sort of canvas do you guys use and where do you get it done? Yeah, this is uh, all, we use a wax converters brand. It's an Australian canvas. We use 12 ounce canvas on the walls and 15 ounce canvas on the main tent roof. Um, we uh, make everything in our own factory. So everything's all done in house. I can certainly see myself on the mountain trail. Um, I really liked it I'm, I'm, and I know my wife would like the kitchen. Uh, the, the workmanship is amazing. Everything's lined. There's lights in every cupboard. The attention to detail is just amazing. The expedition uses all of the best components money can buy, combining them into a well-presented, family-friendly tour.